Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week, Steve and I are back up north. What we're going to be doing tonight is setting the Kontiki. Tide's going out, we're going to be setting it off Tokoro and hopefully get a couple of sets in before dark. Might chuck out the surf casters. Tide's a little bit high, quite like sort of surf casting that lower tide. So you sort of out a little bit deeper, but um, we'll see how we go. Hopefully, get a few fish on the uh, Kontiki and maybe even on the surf caster. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, we're pretty much ready. Just bait it up. Actually got a mixture of kawai, bit of squid, and a bit of mullet this time. So we're gonna set it now, and um, we'll see how we go. We need to do a second set or not. We only need about five or six fish between us, so we don't need a heap of fish. You know, if we get sort of five or six fish on that first set, then everything's all good call it a day and go do a bit of a surf cast or something. Okay, Steve is ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Got a little bit of weed here as well to contend with. She's away. Okay, Steve is hooking on our first sinker. And we're gonna bait it. Chuck the baits on now. Putting on the middle sinker. Okay, Steve O's cranking her in. So we'll see how we go. Hoping we don't have to do a second set. So yeah, hope we've got a couple of fish. That wind's been hanging on today. And that's the great thing about a con tiki. Doesn't matter. Just go and set it. Even if it was a light onshore, but it's offshore. So pretty sweet and having the GPS model doesn't matter even if the winds a bit strong off cross shore or onshore we've got a few people I'm um, setting setting a kite and there's the old school Kontiki bag out there as well a couple of guys up this end setting the um, Kontiki it's always good obviously in their late evening Overcasts too. So fingers crossed we've got a couple of fish. Got quite a bit of weed. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds like steve has got a fish. Steve's got a nice fish there. It's got another one. A couple more tails coming along. Nice fish, man. Another one. Another nice fish. Comes another one. Couple of nice fish coming along. It's quite cool seeing their uh, big red tails come out of the water. It's a little bit hard to do this and kill the fish instantly, but we'll try and do the best we can. It's not nice leaving them there, but it's a bit hard, just two people. Comes another one. Another nice fish there. Another one. Quite a lot of fish coming in off this side. All good size too. Apart from the one I just <laughs> Siva just grabbed, it's a little bit small. Steve's gonna let him go. It's a little bit small. Compared to the ones we've got, he's, he is takeable. Looks about 35, but hey, we've got some nice fish there. There's no need to be greedy. Comes some more. It's a good set. Steve, I reckon there's a gurnard there. It looks like another snapper behind it. Now, a lot of people think this is cheating and in a way it could be but when you don't have the money to get a boat or a little bit, bit you know sort of older or disabled it's actually a good way of coming out and fishing and it's really good with family got a young family it's great to bring them down set the contiki have a bit of a cast and hopefully you catch some fish for the kids to run up the beach with. Steve has got another fish. It's another, another two! It's a big one on the second hook. It's 
a bit crazy. We've got a couple of friends up here, Mark and Chrissy, and they got a couple of friends, so we'll probably be able to give them a couple of fish. We might try and send back what we can. There's a couple of fish still flapping there. Well, there you go guys, had a big haul there. What we're gonna try and do is let go a couple. Ended up with 12, which is a little bit probably too much for us. We can get a, give a couple away to our friends, but um, we're gonna try and release a couple if we can. Yep, there he goes. Got one away, try and get a couple more. Steve has got another fish that looks a bit lively. He'll get his breath back, slowly make his way out. The other one's gone. Steve has got another one, hopefully. Yep, he's gonna go. He's away. couple more we're going to try and get in. We've let go about six and they've all gone back. steve has got another one going. He looks rather lively. He's away. Steve is going to try another one. Just about got them all back. He's gone. Well, there you go, guys. It was a pretty good haul. We actually managed to get most of those fish back in the water. We stood with them for a while, and, we, and they swam off fine. And that was great. We didn't want to keep too much, just kept the four. So we managed to get about five or six back in the water. Steve's got another one up there. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We definitely did, that was a pretty good haul. And it was great getting those fish back in the water. And I know some of you guys will be like, you know, they're gonna die or whatever, but I, I personally don't think they will. They went back 
fine. And it's just like fishing on the boat. If you can let a fish go, it swims away fine, then why not do it on the beach as well? Do it when you're surf casting off the sand, off the rocks. So if you can do it on the Kontiki, might as well. But, uh, we'll uh, clean up these and we'll um, head off and yeah, hope you enjoyed and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with Real Kiwi Fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.